Hey, hey guys, like Xay from Ace 5 Studios, and today I'm going to be talking about a handy dandy thing called the HUD or the heads up display. Now, there's a couple of things you probably know about it, you might not know about it. First thing is you want to do is you want to press Shift V in Cinema 4D, which will open with reference, go to HUD, and tick a bunch of these use useful things. Like, for example, you could tick what camera is active, you can tick what the active tool is, you can tick selected points, edges, polygons. So now when you have a sphere, select some points, it'll show up, you have 150 points selected. Very handy. Go back to Shift V. Um, there's also frames per second, which is useful to see how well your viewport is performing. And basically just pick stuff that you like in frame time, so you can see which frame you're on in the viewport, whatever. And you can also render all this stuff out. If you go to Control B, which is render settings, or from here, there's a button here. In options, you can enable render HUD. There you go. And then when you render something, the HUD will be there. So you'll have the frames and all kinds of other useful stuff that you might need in your render. Now, next, you might have already known this, but for example, if you say you put this into a cloner, um, you can drag a lot of things into your display. For example, you can drag the count number here, and then you can just drag it up and down in the viewport, which can be handy. This is very self-explanatory and, well, it's useful, but what is really useful is that you can actually um, drag tool attributes. And, like, you can obviously drag any tool. If you press Shift to 12 and you can press, like, Cloner, and you can just drag it into here. And you click it, and it makes a new cloner. So it's like a button in the interface, but it's in the HUD for just the project that you're working in. So if you're often doing something, you can stick, and you can also, you know, you can stick stuff like knife tool or anything you want to use. You can just stick it in the corner here and it's always going to be in your viewport. You can drag these around by holding the control key and moving it around. Um, so that's handy. <clears throat> now let's see what is more, well, uh, for what I personally really like. Uh, for example, this is my character rig. And uh, right now it's built like this is a mesh, which is in a cloth surface and in a subdivided surface. Now, if you didn't know, uh, let's make a new, let's go back to the other file quickly. Ah. Yes, here, if we have a cube and we put it into a subdivided surface, you can use the Q key to turn the subdivision surface on and off. And this is very handy. You can also use it, for example, if you have a plane and you have a cloth surface and it has a thickness, for example, you can also select the plane and you can use the Q key to turn it on and off. Or you can just select the cloner and you can turn it on and off. So basically there it's a very useful thing. But the problem is that it doesn't work if you put this cloth surface into the subdivision surface. Now when I have the plane selected, it only enables the cloth surface, not the subdivision surface. So for example, here in this scene, I want to select my skin and I'll be, say I'll be painting weights on it, right? But you'll see that you can't see the weights. Like, I, you can't see what the color is because you have to turn off the cloth surface and then you have to turn off the subdivision surface at the top. And then you can see the weight colors. But then when you actually paint them on, you want to see what it looks like when it's all subdivided and uh, thickened. So what you can actually do is you can drag from the mesh thing, you can drag your, uh, in the basic, you can drag enabled into the viewport. And you can turn it on and off. But what you'll notice right now, if I scroll down and I select the polo shirt, that little thing disappears. Because you can right click on it and you can go display, make a show, and you can pick when you want to show when Only the object is active, when the parent is active. I some click chain active, and now whenever anything in this chain is active, it's gonna be there. But if I click so I will see, then it disappears. So it's just there when I need it. So I have my polo shirt selected and it's here, and I can just turn it on whenever I need. And I can use the Q key to turn on the cloth surface. But you can drag out the cloth surface too if you want. So let's just drag out the cloth surface. Doesn't matter really which one, just this one. Oh, you can also just drag out objects and then you can quickly select them. So if you have objects like all around your hierarchy and you want to select them and you don't have them in the viewport or you can't see them, you can also drag a little, uh, a little you can just drag a little shortcut to that object. So it makes it easy to select it. So for example, I'm in this view and I want to, and I want to be able to always easily select this object. I can just drag this guy into here. And now whenever I'm anywhere, I can just select it and it selects my hand controller and I can move it without actually scrolling and looking for it. Now you can also control, uh, combine these. If you control drag them around, 
But if you control or shift click them, if you shift click them, then you can go make group. And now you can drag them around and put them into a little group, which you can move around all together. Very handy. But this is not limited. You can also uh, drag actual tool uh, qualities into here. For example, in the new, in the last version of Cinema 4D, they changed this uh, thing that now, when you're in the weight tool, um, if you have the weight tool, uh, these two values aren't connected here and here. So you need a lot more space. So like if you want to change, before if you want to change the weight of your paintbrush, you just had this overlapping here and you just drag this up and down. But you can't do that anymore. So you have to first go here and change it. But this also gives you opportunity. You can drag this into the viewport and then you can drag the mode into the viewport and you can even drag the actual weight tool into the viewport. So, um, so while you're working, just at any time, so no matter where you are, if you're, I don't know, if you're in the move tool, you can always just click the weight tool and you can then adjust its strength. So you can see here it's adjusting the strength and you can just click here and choose if you want to do add, smooth or spray or whatever it is. So it's super handy, like always, you know, having stuff in the viewport is, you know, <clears throat> it saves you a lot of time. And sometimes, you know, you only, you don't need all of it. You just drag the stuff that you need and it's there. Um, stuff in the mirror tool, you can drag out stuff. It's just, it's very handy. So yeah, that's what I want to talk about HUD. That's the heads up display. It's very convenient. You can also obviously drag Expresso stuff that you put custom HUD into there. You know, it's all um, possible. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out my website for more. If you like this character, it's also, it's a, available as a character pack on my website. It's called 5J. I also got some free rigs, beefy, bony, and a whole bunch of more tutorials. So yeah, hope you have a good day. This was Alexei from Ace5 Studios.